There are a lot of people on the internet who simply want a simple way to register a domain name. They don't know how to do it and so this video on tellmehowtodothis.com is going to walk you through the process of actually registering a domain name. We're not going to just tell you how to do it, but we're actually going to show you how to register a domain name. Now there are a ton of places online where you can register domains. One of my personal favorites is GoDaddy.com. There is a link below this presentation. It is an affiliate link uh, below this presentation where you can actually go to sign up for a domain name through GoDaddy.com. Let's just say you wanted to register a domain name called SuperQuickFix.com. So you would go to GoDaddy.com, you would start a domain search, and in here I typed in SuperQuickFix.com. Now before I did this video, I did some research to find out, yes, this domain is available. So superquickfix.com is available. I think that's a pretty decent domain, so I like that one. Now you'll notice on this website there are a ton of different options. You can get the .net, the .org, the .info. I don't want any of that right now. Maybe I'll come back and get it later. Now if you're planning on starting a big website, you'll want the .net and the .org and the .info. You'll want all of these, um, maybe through the .org anyway. Um, and maybe the .info. You don't necessarily need the others, but you can get them as part of protecting your domain. You'll get some bulk discounts, whatever. But scroll through all the rest of this. It's just giving you other suggestions. I do want to register this domain name, so I'm going to click on Continue. Now, there are a bunch of different options on GoDaddy. Obviously, they've got you here at the website. They're going to want you to, to buy more services. You don't have to buy any of these other services. You can add all these other services, these other websites for just 16 bucks, but only if you do it now. Well, you don't have to do all that unless you're registering a domain that you think other people might be interested in grabbing the .net and the .biz and the .info. Then I would re recommend signing up for all of those. But in this case, I'm not going to, so I uncheck that box. And I say, no thanks, continue to check out. Now, I already have a GoDaddy login, a GoDaddy account, so I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. But if you don't, then you can register actually right here and create some domain name registration information. I'm going to go ahead and log in, however. Okay, so I have logged in, and now I am going to go ahead and do a domain name registration. Now I'm just doing this for purposes of demonstration, so I'm just going to do a one-year registration, all right? And I can check out what domains I have on the order. I have Super Quick Fix. I want one year for 8.95. I, you can either set it to auto or manual renew. You don't really need to worry about all of this stuff. You don't necessarily need to certify your domain, unless again, it just depends what you're doing with your website. But now you've gone through that whole process. Now you can do a lot a lot of different options. Read through these options and see what's interesting for you or just stick with the standard registration and go to uh, select checkout preferences. I would just go to the quick checkout. Otherwise they're going to show you exclusive offers that will help you get the most from your domain. So I don't know that you really need all that. I just like the quick checkout so I click continue. So now it's telling me here's how much your domain name costs. This is everything that you want to have. Uh, and I want superquickfix.com, one year. Now, I like to make my domain names private. I generally add that in there. But since everybody already knows that I'm the one who registered this domain, it doesn't make sense for me to add the private thing on there. But I like to add that on, on the domains because it just makes it much harder for people to send me solicitations based on my domain name. In this case, I'm just going to leave it public because I'm just doing this for purposes of demonstration. Now, at the bottom, obviously, you have all the payment options. I've already registered a PayPal account with GoDaddy, and if you haven't registered a PayPal account, make sure you watch the video on Tell Me How to Do This about registering a PayPal account and how you get that set up, because it just makes things like registering domain names and paying people simpler. But PayPal account, and then you have to agree to the domain registration, the universal terms of service. Of course, you're going to want to read both of these, but since, you know, I've bought domain names in the past, but you don't have to read both of them, but it's really a good idea to read what's in the contracts that you're signing by checking these boxes. Or you could have an attorney do it, but we'll just skip that and talk about that another time in a different video. So then I click to check out now. On this page, it's asking me for all of my billing information, which I, of course, have blocked out uh, for purposes of this video. Um, but then it's just asking me, so over here, it's just asking me for my 
name, address, all that information. And then it's asking me for my PayPal account. So I've blocked both of those things out. Then it asks me to confirm my order amount. So yes, I'm buying this domain for $9.20. And I'm going to go ahead and click to check out now. So I have checked out. And I now own the domain name superquickfix.com. And that's now my domain name for the next year, unless, of course, you want to buy it from me. Uh, and then you can send me an email, and I'll see what we might be able to come up with. But that's how you register a domain name. Hope this video has been helpful, and thank you for visiting us today at tellmehowtodothis.com.